Right, hello, welcome back to another little video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something slightly different, and that is just going to be highlighting some of the things that I have on my website. So if you go to thalvfx.com, uh, one of the pages I've got here is Unreal Tips and Tricks. So this is just a few uh, little shortcuts and things like that to make your life easier when you're working in the Unreal Engine. Um, so I'm just going to go through these, highlight a few of the ones that I think are more useful, uh, and yeah, so let's get started. So this week, uh, well, the first one, um, camera bookmarks. Now, these I find incredibly useful. So, uh, we've got a quick scene here. Um, if I'm flying around the scene, want to kind of like go and look at things, that's all great. But it's possible uh, in the engine to save a few camera bookmarks. So, if I just do this, I can jump around the scene. I've set these up, um, and you can hopefully see how easy that is when you're working on different things. Um, and the way we do this, um, up here in here bookmarks so these are the the list of the active bookmarks I've got and you can see set bookmark so the the keyboard shortcut to do this is control and then the number and then the number again just on its own will bring you back to that so let's say I want to highlight we don't know this bit of concrete over here if I press control and five now I can very easily jump back to that point um, with what I'm doing so um, really nice way of navigating don't have to have to like fly things around or do too much in the in the in the viewport. Just jumping around between viewports that you've got set up, nice and simple. Um, they are saved to the persistent level. So uh, the level that you are in. If I open up the levels tab, so this level only has a persistent level, uh, but this is what stores those camera camera blueprints or uh, camera shortcut settings. Um, so. Um, yeah, so you can save them, have independent ones in different levels. Uh, but if you're working in a team and you save camera shortcuts, they'll be then uploaded into that level. Someone else might want to overlay, overwrite them with their own camera shortcuts. So um, just something to be aware of. Cool. Um, next one, Boolean search bars. This is another really useful one. So uh, these search bars, they're all over uh, Unreal. They're really, really handy. Um, if I want to do something like search for fog, I get all my fog planes and I get my exponential height fog. Well. One of the things that I find quite often you're doing, um, when you're doing your lighting of your scene, you want to look at your lights and your fogs together. So you can do a vertical pipe. Um, it is shift and then the forward slash button, which is the one ne down next to Z. So that'll create this vertical line. And then if I do fog and lights together, this is an OR operator. So you get your fog and your lights. So all the results in this list now either have fog or light, and that can be really useful. Um, obviously, you can do anything you like that. Um, the other one you can do is an AND. So let's say, if I go back to my fog, you can see here, okay, well, I'm getting all these fog planes. I just want the exponential. I could go in here and I could create an AND symbol, and I could type in exponential, and now I'm only isolating by that. So super, super useful search bars already, um, but adding in the AND and OR functionality makes a huge difference can really extend that, um, which is pretty cool. So what else do we have in here? Uh, select all matching. This is quite a useful thing. Let's say I've got, uh, it's not the best one in the world, there we are. So this is just a paint decal mesh. Um, if I press Shift D, that selects them all. Um, really useful way uh, of selecting multiple things in the scene. So let's go in here, select, and you can select all matching select things like this in blueprints. Uh, I guess there's a blueprint in here somewhere. Let's not use this guy's fair. Um, if I made multiple ones of these, Shift E isn't going to work because Shift E is for static meshes. But if I right click, select, I can do select all matching. Uh, control Shift A. There you are, it's a different keyboard shortcut for that. So um, again, rather than going in, selecting things, Shift, Shift, Shift what have you, um, much easier we're doing it. Select one, select all matching. Um, really useful if you've got block out meshes. Let's say I'm using these spheres and these are just block out meshes just placed around the level. Um, and then I get the, the thing I want to replace them with. So for example, let's do it with these blueprints. So I've placed my block out spheres wherever I want this blueprint to eventually be. I can go in here. If I, ah, this is one of the later tips, uh, control B. Control B, finding content browser. So if I've got this selected and I want to find it here in my content browser, Control B for browser, that finds it there. And while it's selected here, I can go in here to my spheres. Oh, if I could select them. 
Shift E, and then I can just make sure I get the right one. Shift E, right click, replace. And so if you're working with block out meshes, as long as they're unique meshes, you can block out your whole scene with, I don't know, spheres, boxes like that. Uh, and then when they're ready, to, you can just go in and quickly replace them. And you can replace static meshes with blueprints, um, which is a really nice little workflow to be able to do. Um, next one that I just want to highlight, uh, hi isolate, highlight uh, is this one, this toggle translucent selection. So um, you might have seen before when I was trying to collect my select my spheres, um, I keep clicking on these fog planes. Well, a really simple way to get around that. If you just press T on the keyboard, that turns off translucent selection, and now I can only select static mesh objects or opaque objects and not translucent ones. So um, do be careful that it isn't on by mistake. There's no UI for this anywhere. Um, I think it's somewhere in here. Mm, not sure. Um, but you can't see whether that's been on or off, but hopefully when you try and color select something, um, it will show you that. Um, obviously, if you are trying to select something translucent, then you can't. That's why, because you've got it turned off. Um, cool. Uh, what else do we have in here? <laughs> Copying and pasting. This is a good one. Um, let's say I have this object here, and I want to take a sphere and I want to put this exactly the same position as this so quite often with lights or particle effects you want to have the um, one object to be on top of the other or at least start from the other um, you can just right click and copy this vector uh, paste and there you are it'll do the whole thing uh, I think in fact you can do the whole transform so if I go in here scale this one up like oh oh no maybe not fine but I can copy and paste these things individually so then paste that one copy the scale paste that um, and there you are so there's th most things that you can come in here you can copy and paste from uh, obviously it makes sense for things like locations it's the one you can use the lot most um, but yeah any kind of data you can copy and paste um, what else do we have in here <laughs> let's do Set on replace. So, the last one I think we're going to do today is this create static mesh from skeletal. So, um, really useful thing if you're dealing with some animations. Uh, I do have some skeletal meshes in here somewhere. Let's say we have, oh, I don't know, this ground explosion. Um, so, this is just a simple rigid body sim that I did some pieces blowing up into the air. If I wanted to create a static frame from this, let's say this, um, I can very easily do that and just make static mesh. Um, really useful for when you're doing kind of animations. If you wanted like a teleport effect on a character, you might want to spawn particles that had like a kind of a trail of people behind that kind of thing. Um, making your static meshes out of your animations in the editor. Um, so yeah, hope that is helpful. There's a few different tips and tricks there. Um, all these things, you are, uh, Unreal is, is a very uh, powerful engine, uh, and obviously the more you use it, and the more you know how to kind of make it do what you want it to do, the better off you're gonna be. Um, so yeah. If you've got any tips or tricks you think that you would like to share, let me know. I can uh, add them to my website. Um, but as always, yeah, questions, comments, etc. let me know. Uh, and I will see you all next time.